Peace, 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 peace. It's me, Furious Black, here again. Friend of the good, enemy of the wicked. You know what I mean? So, over the weekend, had a three-day weekend. Um, over the weekend, um, I was listening to the Garthas. It's called the Garthas. It's part of the Zurian National religion that was given to uh, the people in the Indo I, uh, Aryan Indo region which is the Persian India area which <clears throat> Abraham's religion stems from. I was listening to the Garthas and when you study when you study true uh, religion and the path of the enlightened you get two entities the good and the evil the good and the bad and when you're looking at what the Israelites were saying at that time about evil about the good, about Satan, about God, you're getting those two entities. Those two entities that represent the good and the evil isn't the supreme God. That's where a lot of people get in, get mixed up with all of this. They think that it is referring to the supreme God, the top God. But that's not why I wanted to talk about this. <clears throat> Today, we get lost in these back and forths about all of these things. And we don't put everything in its proper context for the true revelation or the true message to be given to us. And when I was listening to the Garthas, and it was talking about Ahura Mazda, and um, uh, the good and the evil, I couldn't help but wonder um, why people aren't able to see the true, the true representation of this uh, uh, being in their own lives, right? Like, why is it that a billionaire? That controls the water company, that controls construction, that controls uh, Walmarts and things like that, aren't looking to benefit your life in any type of way. What is their true motivation, right? Why isn't Jay Z or Nas or Diddy going to different hoods and and building schools? And building infrastructure and and building companies such as uh, construction companies and cement companies so that we can constantly fix our neighborhoods. Why aren't they funding farms and, and, and getting schools to teach people agriculture in our neighborhoods? Why aren't they doing that if they're billionaires? Once again, you have to really dig deep into these people's psyche eat, without knowing them, really, but assessing what, they've, what they're doing in the world as, hold up, you'd rather be amongst the NFL? You'd rather be amongst the BETs and the, and the liquor companies? You don't want to go back to your neighborhood and build industry and foundation for the people that are coming behind you? You don't want to do that? You don't want to build a water generate not a water generating machine, but <clears throat> you don't want to build things that make us less dependent on the quote unquote system that you call racist? And you have a billion dollars? Two billion dollars, three billion dollars. <clears throat> Even people that have 
a hundred million dollars or less. Why aren't they making headway in these areas and building schools and trying to change the outlook of the situation that we find ourselves in? Right? It goes back to the Garthas, the two twin uh, entities, one good, one evil. And it goes back to how we think it, we can benefit or, or, or bring true value to a people by the things we participate in or what is our true perspective on the world that we are <clears throat> participating in. It really comes down to those things. That's why I always say, you know, uh, reading these books, these ancient books, and finding that that streamlined uh, uh, information or the through line through all of this information to get a real good glimpse of what <clears throat> Muhammad, uh, I mean, Abraham thought, what Christ thought. Which, by the way, if you really study, you know Christ went to India, right? But you get to learn what the uh, Indian people thought, the Persians thought, the Chinese, the, the Abrahamic faiths. Go to their reading, their things, not the people that are trying to interpret what they're saying, but what they're actually saying. Now, I'm not saying not to get guidance from these other things but don't allow the guidance to usurp what the true writing is actually saying the true text is actually saying that's why I say yo you know uh, people be like the Gnostics was evil da, 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 da. it's like okay but you know who gave you that canon if you know the history of those that gave you the canon can you rightly in your right mind say the Gnostics were evil or wrong or didn't have a good grasp of reality? Because if you go to the Avesta, the Zorian national religion, it lines more up with the Gnostics than with the Judaism that we have today. So... I just always ask people, you know, what is your true motivation in these things? What is your true uh, thought? What is their true thought process without even knowing these people, but watching their 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 outward uh, participation in the world? You could kind of get a good, good, good glimpse of who these people actually are. So you may not watch this whole video. And if you got to this point. Remember, I'm Furious Black, friend to the good, enemy to the evil, and the wicked. Never will I side with them. Never will I side with those that make evil good and good evil. All right? Never. I'm always going to be on the side of the good, no matter what religion you was in. That's another thing that was in the Zoro National. Zoro, Zoro Natural. Zoro. Ashrian religion was you could be part of whatever religious creed you want to be in as long as you are participating in it in the right faithful and uh, way that's it that was very telling to me that was very telling so alright yo peace in the middle of the east <laughs>